Many programmers or coders while in their journey to become a software developer actually does so many mistakes without knowing its consequences. Now, if you're a beginner or a fresher or somebody who is stepping into the world of coding, you should be aware of all the mistakes that you shouldn't do or the things which you should avoid. Keeping this fact in mind, Great Learning has decided to come up with a video on what every programmer should avoid. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. So let's get started with this video and understand that what are the 10 to 11 pointers which you should avoid if you want to become a software developer. So the very first point which every programmer should avoid is nothing but focus on concepts and not on one or many languages. We have seen that many beginners actually focus on several other languages rather than on concepts. So you should choose only one language, let it be Python and you have to read it deeply, you have to understand the concepts of Python deeply and you have to start working on that language itself. The other languages you can learn automatically, so don't worry about that. The second point is nothing but never stick to only one topic. So if you are learning data structure and algorithm, don't only stick to that but also move to competitive programming and other steps as well. The third thing which every problem should avoid is nothing but practice. Practice is the key to master programming. If you will practice, then only you will be very confident in that particular language or in that topic. Remember one thing that programming languages or programming is like mathematics. If you don't solve larger problems, you will not be able to gain anything. The next point is nothing but do not skip data structure and algorithm. Let it be any programming language, you have to learn data structure and algorithm and its concepts. Don't worry that this is very hard concept and we can't do it. Do not skip this particular thing. You have to at least solve 20 to 25 problems on data structure and algorithm. The next is nothing but start developing applications rather than keep on learning new stuff. That means once you are very confident in one programming language, you have to start developing applications. Now, why we are saying that? Because when you will start developing applications, you will find a new challenge every day. And to solve that new challenge, you will start Googling and you will gain some knowledge from that. You'll understand that, okay, this is how it works. And I didn't knew that. Now I know, right? So once you start developing applications, you will get into the software industry. The next point is nothing but build good quality real world projects. Many times we have seen that people actually follow YouTube and start developing those applications which is nothing but a replica but don't do that you have to build a good quality real world projects that is nothing but you have to make it live you have to make it deploy so that the interviewers or the other companies can see it and can run it the next point is nothing but stick to only one resource many times beginners we have seen that they jump from one resource to another resource to gain some batches or you know some or the other certifications don't do that. Stick to only one resource where everything is properly given to you and it is accessible. Use that resource and you are good to go. The next point is nothing but short term goals are important. Many times we have seen that beginners or freshers actually look for long term goals that they prepare for four years in the coding field and then jump to any other you know, software industry. But actually that's not good. You have to have a short term goals. Let's see that in first year what you can do, in second year what goals you can achieve, in third year what you can achieve and then in fourth year what you can achieve. These all achievements will be counted once you are in a software industry. 
the next point is nothing but to form a group with similar interests or goals individually you can't do anything and everything yes you can understand some of the concepts individually but when you have a group of friends who have the similar interest or goals then it will be much easier for you to understand in a better speed the next point and the last one is nothing but do not look for shorter paths to success now we know that all of you looking at this video knows all these pointers you know what to do you know what you should actually be doing but to lead a simple life or not to get stressed you actually don't follow these things so do not look for shorter paths for success good things take time you have to understand these pointers and you have to avoid these things bonus pointer for this particular video is nothing but earn and learn you heard it right basically when you're learning something try to see that how you can earn from that so if you have a knowledge of any programming language try to teach them in some manner to somebody else in that way you will be also able to understand and grasp some new concepts and some new ideas doubts will be cleared which will also give you a better confidence so these are all the pointers which a programmer should avoid i hope you like this video and have understood that what things are there which you should avoid to become or to get success in software industries have a great learning all the best thank you so much for watching the video i want to introduce you to great learning academy a free initiative by great learning you can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion check out the link in the description of the video below if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.